This is Entertainment Weekly's coverage of Comic-Con 2017. I'm Kyle Anderson, now joined by the cast of DC's Legends of Tomorrow. What's up, Kyle? I still like <laughs> saying that, right? It's still such a fun title to say. Yes. Right? Legend. Legend. It's going to have the word Legends in there and all. We, How we, you doing? Are you all right? We okay. believe we're Legends. Are you a cop? That's I think so, oh, right? Yeah. I am a cop, because I have to tell you that by law. Uh, Katie, can, can we start with you? Um, I, I would, how would you uh, rate uh, uh, Sarah's work as captain in uh, season two of Legends of Tomorrow? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was doing great up until the point that she had to make a decision that destroyed everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but other than that, like, other than great. That, it was great. Like, she, she did a great job. I don't think she could be judged on just that one thing, yeah. though, right? It was yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah. The only decision they couldn't make, because otherwise we would have been living in, in Doom World the whole time, wouldn't we? We would yeah. have died to the hands of Eobard Thon. And then we wouldn't have a season three if yeah. a lot of stuff wasn't messed yeah, up. Yeah, so, so I was really like, kind of like, like, that's not everybody arguing. And we do, because we do, we need a season three, obviously. We need yeah. yeah. Absolutely. What are you going to screw up this year to make season four? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I leave it up to this bunch. It's safe in that house. That, 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 that seems more like your job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. That's a clever job. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so what's going to be then, moving forward into the new season, uh, what is going to be Sarah's dynamic with, with Rip? How, how's, how's that going to go? Um, I think we're all at odds with Rip. Uh, they basically come in, they got this new crew, and they're, they're coming for us. This like band of very skilled, trained, articulate, professional <laughs> Like losers. Boring. Wow. And then they just come, and they're coming for us. And so we kind of have to prove ourselves about, against this all star team. We're like the Globetrotters. And yeah. they're like, the We're like, they're the like the, the Cleveland class yeah. Cavaliers. And so it's like, we might, we Wait, just the like look good. Might be able but to beat the game. You're no like way. the Axel Foley <laughs> to the LAPD. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. For all you kids, that's a Beverly Hills cop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know what that is. Keep, like, it, yeah. keep it current, right? Keep it current. Um, and so I'm, I'm curious, so at the at the end of uh, season two, you guys broke time entirely. Uh, and Phil, maybe this is more a question for you. Is is that going to be, is there is there a quick fix to that? Or is that going to be a season-long endeavor to try to repair uh, what you guys have done? Oh, yeah. It's it's at least a season-long uh, endeavor. I if mean, not more. Obviously, there's a clear and present danger of, of dinosaurs uh, going around mm -hmm. Los Angeles. Uh, but then, you know, we're, we're going to realize that that was sort of the tip of the iceberg. And that it's more than just these sort of like one-off anachronisms. That it's all part of a giant, you know, big bad and a, a, a consortium of uh, some horrible bad guys that we can't talk about. Mm. You guys get that? <laughs> but we also haven't seen the last of dinosaurs on the show, though. Uh, until the money runs out, we you will continue to see. Dinosaurs. <laughs> I, I think I should train Gertrude at some we point. We need her back. And we'll train her, and then I'll ride her. Yeah. She'll, uh, you know, with I'll her dinosaur with talking <laughs> powers, <laughs> and then uh, she'll be our pet. Yeah. I'll miniaturize her. Miniaturize her, exactly. She can live on the. You were pet who's going to clean up after? That's probably me. <laughs> <laughs> that feels that feels like a job that Rory gets stuck with, though, right? Oh, in, in, in the end, cleaning right. up after cleaning up after the tiny T Rex. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> sort, of, sort of ship janitor. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm curious, uh, uh, Nick, for you and, and Maisie, have we seen the last of? Uh, it's your complicated, Kyle. Is it? Yeah, is that, man. Is that what's marked on Nate's Facebook so, page? Yes. Yes. It's complicated. It's not so black and white, bro. I like seeing relationships this together. are difficult, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> is that the case? Yeah. Was that a talking point you had? <laughs> that was it. Relationships <laughs> are difficult? That's is that going to be most of the panel later? Is just yeah. about how relationships are difficult? I'm just going to be like, damn, Kyle, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm not in the room. You're not in there. It's going to be real yeah. weird for everybody. Yep. Uh, Brandon, one of the things I loved about mm -hmm. season two was that uh, Ray really kind of got to explore. You had that, that run where you lost your suit. You really kind of got to explore, like, you know, what, what even is heroic about this guy? Do you, do you hope to, to do more of that working forward? Because it was some really interesting stuff that you seem to really get into. Thanks. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I like to, you know, what is a hero and what makes a hero? And, you know, even though Ray is a human and he has these kind of abilities, he still has to, you know, find the best part of him to, to use it. He could use it for good or bad. So I think the exploration is, is kind of the one that all the characters are making to a degree. And um, to find, you know, what makes him helpful and beneficial to the team without any powers is, is a cool story to explore. And, I think he's kind of always following, f f finding that out throughout the course of the show. Two, yeah. yeah, I mean, friends, I think I think Jax went through uh, some of that as well in, in season two. Do you, uh, what, what what do you hope for Jax moving forward uh, on this show? Um, 
Well, you know, uh, where we are in season two, the dynamic between between Stan and Jax has changed a little bit. You know, uh, we saw before Jax being more reluctant as a superhero to a degree, and now that's kind of done a whole 180. So, um, so going forward, that's something that will be be explored. Mm. You have an accent. I do. <laughs> are you not from here? Twins, Strange, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Yeah. Well, that's that. I mean, I imagine that's the fallout of time being broken, right? Isn't suddenly he, he has an accent? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. He's a Brit. It's the only explanation. <laughs> He's a Brit. Yeah. I'm so 100. Yeah. Um, and we also we have uh, a new member uh, of the Legends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Welcome in. <laughs> now, uh, so how uh, how terribly uh, have these people hazed you so far? I just met them this morning. This really? Is very oh, yeah. nice. Oh, wow. Yes. So, well, the first day is fine. Yes. Yeah. Th this is not it. Ask me in a yeah. week. Yeah. <laughs> we did that right before we walked in. Yeah, is that, is that really the case? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I met Maisie last night. Okay. And I talked to Old Maisie friends. and Katie. Oh, yeah. I, I made them lead me through some <laughs> initial questions. Yeah. And so and so, how much how much have you sort of uh, uh, you know delved into the, the character's art? Um, in my mind, a lot. Um, <laughs> in, in script to reality, not a lot yet. Um, but I know that she's she's a badass. She speaks her mind. She's a hacker. She's a hacktivist, actually. And she's from the future, which I think is going to be it's going to be interesting for her to share sort of what her impression of the future is with the legends in 2017, because yeah. she's seen some of the fallout from 2017. And so and, and that was her first Comic Con. That was really yeah. good. Wow. Wow. I, was say. Wow. I have no I idea what you're talking good. about. But I'm really impressed. <laughs> Five stars. Oh yeah. my! Could you be a little less good, maybe? But yeah. halfway through that, I was yeah. like, "What did I just say?" <laughs> Who's talking? Who's still talking? Oh, it is me. Oh wow! <laughs> um, and and so Phil, for you, I mean, is, yeah. is 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 part of the fun of having a a new character on this show. Sort of pairing her off with the various personalities out here. Like, who are we going to see uh, Zari pair off with? Well, I mean, I think the the most obvious is is with uh, Brandon's character Ray because I mean he's he's obviously a futurist and an inventor and a guy who has this boundless optimism about the future being better and brighter and all these things. And I'm a she's, black cloud. <laughs> she's a, yeah, she comes and says like, oh great, all those things you were trying to do to the world, all your inventions, they didn't add up to anything. Um, oh. And so it no, it's it's great. It's a challenge. Failure. And it, it's sort of <laughs> failure for Ray. It, it, no, it challenge, it challenges our team to think about what they're doing, which is like, are we so just fixing so fixing history or are we improving the future? But I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> so at least she's not picking up dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Every episode closes with yeah, Dom Dom. Just <laughs> like the Carol Burnett show, just pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna feel so sorry when that actually gets written into the show. Oh, yeah. It's like, no, oh, what are they doing? You won't get any money I'm for so it. I'm so sorry. No, you know what? You guys can have that for free. Everything at Comic Con is free. That's a, that's that's my curse, unfortunately. Um, so uh, so we know that uh, we know that we're gonna be P.T. Barnum. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, do, do Billy, any, Zane. Billy Zane. Yeah, the great Billy, Billy Zane. Zane. Um, do any of you guys have any sort of? Uh, we, we we met George Lucas last mm -hmm. season. Uh, mm -hmm. Any of you guys have any sort of uh, wish list for historical figures? Like Victor, do you feel like that Stein? There's anybody that Stein would really want to meet in well, history. Well, he he did meet Albert Einstein. Oh, yes. Right, so which was kind of, probably a thrill. That was about as good as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I'd like to. Um, I don't know. Eleanor Roosevelt, I think I would get along with. Mm -hmm. I would like to see Eleanor yeah. Roosevelt on this show. Played by Billy Zane. No, he just plays every guest star. We talked about Billy. Wasn't that be amazing? Billy Zane as Eleanor Rod. I'm not. He could do it. He could do it. All right, Billy Zane, let us know that you're available because you're getting you're getting a lot more. He just texted me. Tech a bail. Ben Franklin. Good. And some women like inventors. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah. Some yeah. Like, yeah, Cleopatra. Ooh, that'd be fun. Yeah, so it'd be like, hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait for all these people to possibly show up on the new season of DC's Legends of Tomorrow. It returns October 10th on the CW, yeah. uh, just as soon as you guys make it. Um, and <laughs> thanks again to the cast of DC's Legends of Tomorrow. And, thanks, uh, Kyle. Stay tuned for more <laughs> coverage from Comic-Con right here on Entertainment Weekly. <laughs> Thank you.